Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install NetBeans IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So NetBeans IDE, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, is an IDE for developing the Java codes. But not only that, NetBeans IDE also helps you to develop C, C++, JavaScript, PHP and other programming languages. But mainly it's used for developing the Java projects. So let's see how we can download and install NetBeans. So because NetBeans is a Java based IDE, you need to have Java installed on your Windows 11 operating system. So if you don't know how to install Java JDK, I have already created a video on that and I will put the link in the description of that video. So you can see how you can install Java JDK on your Windows 11 operating system and then you can install NetBeans. Now to install NetBeans IDE, you just need to open your favorite browser and search for NetBeans download. And the first link which will appear here will be from netbeans.apache.org forward slash download. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video also, so you can directly come to this website. And from here, you will be able to see all the NetBeans uh, releases, right? So you can see at the time of making this video, NetBeans 12.5 uh, is the latest version. And you also have the LTS version. LTS version stands for long term support version. So I generally choose the LTS version over the latest version. So I'm going to just go under the 12.0 LTS and then click on download button, which is going to redirect me to this next page. So from here, you can download the NetBeans IDE uh, binaries or source, and you also have the installer for your Linux or Mac or your Windows operating system. So for Windows operating system, you can choose the first uh, link, which says windows64.exe. So I'm going to click on this uh, link, which is going to redirect me to this page. So from here, you can choose any one of uh, these links. So I'm going to choose the first link, which is at the top, which is going to start the download of this Apache NetBeans.exe file. So I'm going to wait for the download to complete. So once this Apache NetBeans exe file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this exe file and let me minimize my browser. And first of all, it's going to show you this kind of warning, which is going to say, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? So I trust uh, NetBeans. So I'm going to click on yes here, which is going to start the installer. So you can see uh, the NetBeans installer has been started on your Windows 11 operating system. If you want to customize this installation, you can choose this option. Otherwise, you can directly click on the next button. And on this window, you need to read these license terms and conditions. And if you agree with them, check this checkbox and then click on next. So this will be the location where NetBeans will be installed on your Windows 11 operating system. And as I mentioned, you need to have Java JDK installed on your Windows 11 operating system in order to install NetBeans IDE. So because I have already installed the Java JDK, so NetBeans is going to recognize the Java JDK folder and it's going to automatically select that for me. If it doesn't recognize your JDK folder, you can browse for the JDK folder from here also. So once you have provided both the folder locations, click on next. And then uh, you can see check for updates option. Just leave everything as default and then click on install, which is going to start the installation of NetBeans IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So at this point, I just need to wait for this process to uh, reach to the 100% mark. And once NetBeans is successfully installed, you can see this message installation completed successfully. And then you can click on the finish button. You can also see that this NetBeans shortcut icon is created on my desktop. So I can click on this NetBeans uh, IDE icon, which is going to launch the NetBeans IDE on my Windows 11 operating system. So now I can see that NetBeans IDE has been launched on my Windows 11 operating system. And now I can start using NetBeans IDE. So let's create a Java project. So for that, I can click on uh, file here and then click on new project option. And from here, I can choose any one of these options. 
So I want to create a very simple Java project. So I am going to select the uh, Java with Maven on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I'm going to select Java application and then click on next. And on the next window, you can see this message in order to use this functionality support for Java SE must be activated. So I'm going to check both these check boxes and then I'm going to click on download and activate button. And then because I have chosen download and activate button, this pop-up window will uh, appear. Here I just need to click on next here, accept license terms and conditions and then click on install, which is going to start the download of uh, Java FX. And once that's done, click on finish. And then NetBeans is going to activate Java SE support on your Windows 11 operating system. After that, I can see the next window where I can uh, provide the project name and then the location where I want to save the project and the other settings. So because I just want to create a very simple Java project, I will leave everything as default and then click on finish. So now I can see this project has been created. When I expand this, you can see uh, four uh, folders. First one is source packages, then dependencies, Java dependencies and project files, right? So I'm going to choose the source packages option and here I can right click and then click on new and then click on Java class and then I can give the name to my Java class for example hello so hello will be the name of my Java class and this will be the package name so I'm going to just click on finish here which is going to create this class on my uh, project so you can see this uh, file has been created now first of all I'm going to create the public static void main method you can uh, just write PSVM here and then press on uh, control space which is going to show you this IntelliSense so click on this option which is going to create the public static void main method for you and then inside this public static void main I will just want to print hello world so I can just write uh, system dot out dot uh, print ln and then press enter and then inside these uh, brackets I'm going to just write hello world here and once you have written your program you can run your program using this green button which says run project also you can build the project and you also have clean and build project option so let me click on the build project first of all which is going to build my project and because I have created a maven project that's why it's uh, downloading some packages from Maven repository. And once the build is successful, you will see this message which says build success. And when you see build success message, you can click on run button and then select your class and then click on select main class. And I can see the hello world message here. So you can see it's uh, just outputting hello world, which we wanted. So our um, Maven project or Java project is working fine and that's how you know that your NetBeans is also working fine. So this is how you can download and install NetBeans on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.